Alright. Short, sweet, to the point, no multiple takes. Got most of my briefing out. Uh, so, Daniel Desmond Namofa, Erika, is no longer with us. Uh, he and I were pretty good friends. And uh, he inspired me more times than ever than any other YouTuber and any other person, really. Um, every time he would, we would hang out, he was one of the most genuine, heartwarming, welcoming people I have ever met on this road. And there's, no, there's, there's not going to be any finger pointing or blame or anything like that on this video. Because the craziest thing is that he's gone. And, um, you know, we would share all these awesome stories when we would hang out together. And then we would find out the most interesting things about each other. And, you know, I've been following him for years before I actually got into contact with him and met him and became friends. And... There's a, there's a handful of content creators and YouTubers or anyone on this platform or any other platform that, you know, I look at and I ask myself, I ask myself the, the sentence. I could do that with a question mark, right? When it comes to Desmond and I think about that same sentence, that question mark becomes an exclamation point saying I can do that. And he really left an impression on me, a very extremely, amazingly positive one, as someone who also was, you know, hyped about Nintendo and loved Nintendo to the ends of the earth, probably more than I did, but it, 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 it really isn't a competition. And, um, yeah, it's just crazy, it's really crazy. You know, when you, when you see him on YouTube and when you see him in real life, it, 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 like, what you see is what you get. He was, he was as energetic as he was online. He was as happy as you would think. He was literally, he wasn't a one of a kind. He, he was the one of a kind. His energy, his passion, everything he did on YouTube and streaming, and he literally, like, had the energy that you know, no one could rival his energy. And every time he would be in the room, any time he would be on camera, any time he would be there, like you experience him, you, he would have you in the palm of his hand. But not to crush or manipulate or anything like that. Just to hold, share, and uplift. Oh, my God. But... Erika was, er is, was an extremely, incredibly, hilariously humble person. And you, and you know, I, 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 get, I get why people don't see that, especially with a lot of content creators, they don't see that, but Desmond was definitely the most humble out of anyone I've ever met on this road. He was so welcoming, oh my god, like, he would hang out with you, talk with you, not give, like, not give you the runaround or anything like that, and that type of positive energy is just, it really makes you wonder, man, it just, like, someone with that amount of positive energy really, <laughs> really makes you wonder. Like, I don't want to ask that question, but it just really makes me wonder. Um, but you know, knowing him, he wouldn't want us to mope too hard. And uh, I know we have to mourn. And it's just... It's really hard knowing a person and then waking up, finding out that you're never gonna see him again. But at the same time, we all know he went to a better place. And, uh...
I hope he's done hurting. I really do. That's the main thing. We, I, I hope we. That's the main thing. I think we can all hope. But he was very competitive. We went toe for toe with for shots and um, among other things. And uh, he still owes me that smash match. But I'll get it. I'll get it one day. I was proud to call him my friend. I was proud to call him my brother. And, uh, like I said before, like, he loved doing shots. Tequila was, was like, his, one of his main go-tos, especially when we first started drinking together. And, uh, yeah, I actually taught him the old Mexican right type thing. Where like you always gotta when you're taking shots of tequila, you always gotta make sure you raise it high, slam it on the table, and then just take it down. As, as a Mexican, of course. Uh, I'll be seeing you, man. Adiós, hermano.